Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new M4A1 Fair Brass Blueprint. Uh, this is a brand new blueprint that's available in the new Gaz Operator Bundle in the Modern Warfare store. Uh, it's actually a really good one, a very aggressive M4 class setup. However, there are a few attachments that I want to change to make this thing a little bit more aggressive and uh, and for better, uh, better for those of you that like to rush around. So, uh, if you guys take a look at the stats, come with the original blueprint you guys will see that the main focus here is obviously going to be mobility since this is a very uh, aggressive setup we get a really small boost to accuracy here but we lose a significant amount of range as well as a very small amount of control i want to make this class a little bit better because there's a few attachments on here that don't really make sense for an aggressive m4 setup so if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that i'm going to share with you guys in this video you guys will see that we still get that same nice boost to mobility we still end up losing a little bit of control but we don't lose any range whatsoever and we actually get a little bit more more of an accuracy boost. So overall, much better rushing M4 class setup that hopefully you guys are able uh, to dominate with. So if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using for my specific class setup, the muzzle that we're going to be using is the monolithic suppressor. This is a huge attachment change. It's going to make a big difference with this weapon. The original blueprint called for the lightweight suppressor. And if you guys take a look at that, you end up losing significant range as well as a small amount of accuracy. With the monolithic suppressor, we actually keep that accuracy in range and, uh, and we get sound suppression and damage range as our pros. So the only only thing we're losing here is ADS speed, which we're going to add another attachment to fix that and aim walking steadiness, which won't be uh, a huge deal here. So again, the monolithic suppressor is definitely the better muzzle to go with. The barrel that we're going to be using is the FSS 11.5 inch commando. We're keeping this the same as the original blueprint because of the movement speed we get with this barrel. You guys will see not only movement speed, but aim down sight speed is a pro with a really, really nice boost to mobility here. So again, that FSS 11.5 commando. We're not going to be using a laser. I don't think having a laser on an M4 is going to be necessary, even if we are playing extremely aggressive. So we're leaving the laser off. We're also not going to be using an optic. I decided to take that big optic off of this thing for a really aggressive M4 setup. The iron sights are fantastic on this weapon, and we're going to lose more ADS speed as well as just having an optic makes it a little bit more difficult to do well in extremely close quarters gunfight situations. So we're taking off the optic. The stock that we're going to be using is the Forge Tac CQS. We're keeping this the exact same as the original blueprint as well, giving us a nice boost to aim down sight speed. The only con here is aiming stability. So even though it shows we're losing a little bit of accuracy and control, we're really not because we're not going to have idle sway on the M4. So again, the Forge Tac CQS stock. The underbarrel that we're going to be rocking with is the Merc foregrip. So I decided to get rid of the laser and run the Merc foregrip underbarrel instead because we're getting great hip fire accuracy, which is what the laser is there for, but we're also getting really nice recoil control. So we're going to get a massive boost to accuracy here. So not only will the hip fire accuracy with this Merc help us from close uh, range gunfights, but that recoil control will help us out from those medium to long range as well in case we run into a situation uh, you know, that calls for that. So the Merc foregrip underbarrel. We're not running any extra ammunition, not really necessary here. And last but not least, the rear grip that we're going to be using is stippled grip tape to give us one more boost to aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed, which is a very important pro uh, when you're playing aggressive. Getting those first shots off will make all the difference. And uh, again, the only con is aiming stability, so we're really not even losing control at all with this setup. So uh, again, the stippled grip tape, but I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific class setup. If you guys have any questions about the original blueprint or the class that I share with you in this video, please make sure to leave a comment comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video.